Look at this. That's... This is what happens when you fire a spider pile. Uh, I just grab it by my fingers. Hold it right down. Look at that. Okay, so uh, I want to make a video again about tile failures. There's way too many uh, tile installations that are going bad, they're leaking, and they're failing. And that's because the people installing them don't know what they're doing. Or they think they know what they're doing, or they don't understand that certain things need to be done to prevent a tile installation, especially in the shower, from failing. Many times they, they get the right materials and they install them uh, according to what they think will work and then a short time later the tile starts to fall off, becomes loose in a shower, the, tiles, uh, the bathroom it, it starts to leak and things go bad. <clears throat> Happens way too often and that's because as I said the people installing the tile and the shower and whatever it is they're stalling, steam shower, shower, tub area, floors, whatever, outside, inside, they don't understand what needs to be done to install the tile correctly. So I reached out to uh, some installers that I know to see if they would give me uh, some footage of some tile failures that they've had to deal with and I'm going to give you uh, the information to these people in the description below. So. If you need, if you're in that area where these people are located, you know you can contact these people and be assured that you will get a good installation. Now there's plenty of plenty of information out there, plenty of training, plenty of technical expertise from manufacturers, from the CTEF, from the NTCA, from there's there's all kinds of information that is available to know how to install tile properly. The NTC has workshops, the uh, manufacturers like Schlud, uh, Mape, Ardex, uh, Laticrete, all the, all the manufacturers have all kinds of training for, for you know, to install their products properly. So, just for an example, here, here are a few I've done. Schluter, Schluter, more Schluter, Ardex, Mape, where is it? Laminam, Mape, and Hoboken. This is this is actually one I did in uh, '86. This one here, and I've been doing, and I've you know I've attended as many as I can over the years. So these are just a few that I that was able to to find, you know, off the bat. So plenty of training available. So if you install products the way they're supposed to be done and follow the standards and the methods that are approved by the TCNA, you're not going to have a problem. Here is a, here is the TCNA handbook. This has got all the methods and standards and procedures that are supposed to be followed by anyone installing tile. If you if you follow this, you won't have a problem. So beyond this is a manufacturer's recommendations. So if a manufacturer says how to install something, that's what you do. So anyway, I just wanted to get to this video and show you what these people have shared with me, these installers that have been shared with me with what they've found that uh, the install installations that have gone bad have got wrong. Some of them are very uh, new installations. They haven't been installed for that long and they're already being replaced. So I'm going to get right to those, you know, those video clips and show you what can go wrong and what will go wrong if tiles aren't installed according to proper procedure. So, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, leave your comments in the comment sections below, and check out my uh, new website, dismart.com, uh, for tile tools and related products. So, uh, thanks for watching. Cars.
city with that's flexing right now. I wonder if this is quarter inch. Okay, so beyond the obvious aesthetic problems of this shower, poor installation, uh, cracking grout, uh, bad cuts, and all kinds of other stuff, it's the actual installation of the tile, which was five spotted, which meant that there was very little uh, mortar in contact with the tile and the and the back of board. Just just a recipe for disaster. So when Jake got in deeper into the rip out, this is what he found. Alright, so I'm making this incision just to get it off the screw head or nail head. See though, the guy when he was installing it, cut it all the way down, and you can see silicone or some sort of adhesive in the corner there. this waterproofing fantastic job huh can't imagine why things leaking check this out there's not even a membrane no waterproofing no nothing that's a 2x4 on the curb oh, I can't imagine why this shower is leaking on this side it's just a hardy board right there. The towel just fell right off. There's nothing even on there. Floor is soaked. Plywood is going to have to be replaced. Some of the studs, I don't know. We'll see what they look like. I don't know if we can dry it out. I don't know how bad it's going to be. Let's see. This side ain't too bad. Look at that. I think the grout's the only thing holding it in right now. The whole thing's... Look at that. Yeah. How do you think the coverage is on that tile? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This... I don't even know what to say. This is ridiculous. Look at this. That's puddles of water underneath the bottom the bottom pour or the very first pour. They should put uh well they did it looks like they put some tar paper down. Didn't do any good. Jeez. Normally I'd recommend putting down some lath to nail it down. How ends it? Why did it cut it off right there? I don't know. This is the bottom. So I got 
It's probably less than two inches tall. There is no tar paper or any kind of screen or anything underneath here. And this is actually the bottom piece of the, this is the first part of the pour, the pan. There should have been tar paper, um, some kind of screen for expansion. And there was nothing. And of course they drywalled, I cut ripped it out, but they drywalled all the way down to down to the plywood. And uh it's actually how I know this because when I was pulling the drywall up, this stuff just started falling right apart. It's not even that thick. You know, they didn't put any kind of backer boards across here or anything. And they should have been put that tar paper up against amongst many other things. But. So this is a real, real bad deal here. You can see all that mold. This is under the so-called original. It's got the bottom part of the when you, your first part you pour with your pan, and uh, that's what happens when you don't put a membrane in correctly, or don't go over the curb like you're supposed to. Eventually. Put it all rotted out. Probably could have caused it to cave in. Really bad deal. Really bad. Ooh, Look at that. Not even any mud on there. You just see me just barely touch the corner and it fell right off. This is how most of them are going on this side. Whoever did this, put them on way too dry. Didn't put any mud on the back of these house. Oops. Just a little corner. Otherwise, they just fall off. Look at that. They would eventually fall off. There's no way these would have stayed up. Whoever put these up should be fully responsible for paying for this to be done right. I gotta hold the towel, otherwise when it pops off, it'll fall. But, you hear that? I'll just grab it by my fingers, hold it right down. Look at that. Brand new, fresh towel. This thing have any dirt on it, hardly. How long do you think that would have stayed up? Here I am on the job site doing a repair. <clears throat> this is what happens when you buy a spot of tile. Uh, these are the tiles I'm pulling up. This is about 60% of them that just came up without anything on the back of them. The other ones I just hit with a hammer just to get them out of there, but most of them like that. So, no bond whatsoever. Probably use the wrong thin set. So, this thin set shrunk, it didn't bond. Plus it in back loader, so this is what we got here. That's all we gotta get repaired. So repair it best as we can and uh, go from there. This whole shower is getting gutted to the studs. Was not waterproof properly. The water's coming through the wall, destroying this wood floor here. As you can tell. We had a plumber come here and check to see if this plumbing is leaking. No leaks here, so as you can see, this all this this is hardy bore, which is a cement bore, but it's not waterproof. It just kind of absorbs the water, wicks it away. All this is down down here is wet. So we're gonna be ripping that out. There's no waterproofing, so we're gonna waterproof it completely. Water test it and the customer will have a nice new waterproof shower with zero issues. So thanks to Jake, Curtis and Donnie for giving me the footage. I will put all their information in the description below. So if you're in the area where they operate, you'll know you get a great installation. 
Also, I'll put some links in, also in the description and in the cards in the top right-hand corner. And don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. Thanks a lot.